Plain of Superflex 3 and the way I'm using it to get a lovely finish every time. So I'm just going to talk you through how I got a nice finish with the Rafina Superflex 3. Um, that was the tools used guys. The Rafina Stainless Steel Trail of the Pointsman Hawk and the Spear and Jackson Bucket Scoop. Um, in my hand now is the Rafina Superflex 3. And it's uh, just a 6 inch water brush. And you can see I'm pulling out my first angle here and I pull it out from left hand corner all the way down basically following the path of where I coated the ceiling I just sort of continue where I left off and what I'll do is I'll pull out that angle from obviously behind me there to in front of me and once I have that all worked in you see still with the wet brush still lubricating the ceiling and the trowel so I'm actually wetting a nice straight line I'm pulling it out this corner here very, very important to keep your corners as clean as you can and obviously guys might scrape for more of these but like I said it's important to keep them corners as clean and obviously with clean water and so what I'll do is I'll just keep walking in lanes very, very repetitive really but obviously that's what plastering is um, it is a repetitive type of game you have to constantly work the same wall in the same areas over and over again but um, I was recently asked before on well that recently maybe a year or two about that does the brush leave any lines and no this ceiling is as you can see it's it's nearly all fully brown and again that's down to the, the time and as well of when you use your superflex trials um, but no, I'm not putting a lot of pressure in the ceiling. You can see there, you just see with the light, it does catch a wee bit of water off, just enough to allow the child mat to tear the ceiling and gives that wee bit of lubrication so it, it just glides. And believe me, this Superflex 3 glides. Um, it is stiffer than the original Superflex, but with that stiffness, you feel that you could almost, I haven't done it yet, but you could almost hit a uh, ceiling from where to go, probably from the coating and all. Um, but obviously I'm keeping mine still for the third child. And eventually I'll give it a wee test on a small wall somewhere, maybe somewhere in a house or a job that doesn't just, just matter just quite as much onto the stairs or something. And I'll throw on first child, second child, third child. And um, this is what this is, guys. This is the third child on this ceiling and this is the finishing child the ceiling is getting finished right now and you can see I'm not having to fill in I'm not having to scrape off any lines or anything all that sort of work should be done in previous trials I do have other videos on the previous trials as well other hard plaster ceiling videos on the channel and um, feel free to, to keep on watching on the channel and check out them tutorials um, obviously a ceiling and a wall there is different processes on them um, as a fact well obviously one's above your head but you will maybe start and you'll not walk a wall as you walk a ceiling um, smaller ceilings you don't have to walk them what I'm doing is called walking and that's where I'm walking across wet the ceiling and then trailing off that excess water um, Obviously in this stage you want to make sure there is no blemishes in the ceilings and have them finished. But guys this is how I create a good finish. Brothers! What we do in life echoes in eternity.